YouTube, uh, it's Tim Rowland again. Uh, today, in this video, I just wanted to uh, share with you an idea I've had for years, and I don't know if it's an original thought, but it's original to me because I've never heard anybody else doing it. So anyway, uh, for people who like own a company, or like say you want like your yard cut, or you're gonna have a shed built, uh, you know, some whatever like the, the projects are around your house, around your property, around your business, in your business, whatever, uh, you know, things that you normally go to these like big companies for, or even like the small companies, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, I've always wondered how come people never go to like a homeless shelter or a battered women's shelter, uh, places like that. Because I mean, companies want your money. These people need the money. Uh, and then I realize that it's giving like a temporary solution to people who need permanent uh, help, you know, like permanent solutions. And it's like, I, I think I said that backwards, basically. Yeah, basically you're giving temporary help to people who need permanent solutions. Uh, I know people, or well, some people, I won't say everybody, of course, uh, and I know some people are like, well, you know, you don't know if you can trust them and, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, the truth is, how do you know you can trust the people who run these businesses? How do you know you can, there are plenty of contractors that run off on people stealing their money. Uh, not to mention, I mean, like, say, we'll take an example. Say you want to have, uh, well, a shed built. Uh, a shed, say you want to have a shed built, like I mentioned earlier. All right, well, if you don't trust, if you don't really pull a trust person, after all, you don't really know them, even though you could take your lazy ass to the homeless shelter, get to know them, which is already a good thing to do, and then find the people, uh, which, speaking of which, you go to the homeless shelter, you go to the, like, the battered women's shelter, I mean, these people could be you, you know, they had one, th probably one thing or a series of things that went wrong that put them there, that could easily be you, but like you and thousands of, or millions of other people, these people have professions, you know, they have specialties, they have skills, they could be contractors. They could be administrators. They could be pretty much any damn thing there is. These people have skills. They have talents. They used to use them. Something went wrong, and now they're in a shit situation. So, I mean, if you need a contractor, you could probably find them there. Uh, so, I mean, th they have the skills. You can find what you're looking for, and people at least have, you know, the knowledge and the skill set, and hell, they'll probably be willing to learn because they, they don't want to be in that situation. They're trying to get out of that situation. But anyway, in my scenario, back to that. Uh, okay, let's say you don't trust anybody. Let's just say you're paranoid, which is, it's fine. I mean, today and age, you know, it, it's hard to be paranoid. It's probably a safe, somewhat safe plan. Okay, fine. You go get the materials that you, that you know they're gonna need. So you have them ready. They do the work. Once they do the work, then you can give them the money. No way for them to rip you off. Because you know you, you didn't get money for materials because you bought the materials yourself, and they came to you and got the materials, so they can't run off of that money. Uh, they can't do a shit job or anything like that and run off with your money because you've seen their work before you pay them. So tell me, how is this plan flawed? You know. Anyway, if you think it's a good idea, tell me in the comments. If you think it's a stupid idea, tell me that in the comments. Uh, hit like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for listening again. Bye.